Atlanta Braves chairman Terry McGurk releasing this statement through the club and we are we are seeing a number of statements being sent into us regarding the legendary Hank Aaron. So Terry writes here, we are absolutely devastated by the passing of our beloved Hank. He was a beacon for our organization, first as a player, then with player development and always with our community efforts. His incredible talent and resolve helped him achieve the highest accomplishment, yet he never lost his humble nature. Henry Lewis Aaron wasn't just our icon, but one across Major League Baseball around the world. His success on the diamond was matched only by his business accomplishments off the field and capped by his extraordinary philanthropic efforts. Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms expressing her family's condolences to Mrs. Billy Aaron, that is, Hank Aaron's wife and the entire Aaron family saying, quote, this is a considerable loss for the entire city of Atlanta. While the world knew him as Hammer and Hank Aaron because of his incredible record setting baseball career, he was a cornerstone of our village, graciously and freely joining Mrs. Aaron in giving their presence and resources toward making our city a better place. As an adopted son of Atlanta, Mr. Aaron was part of the fabric that helped place Atlanta on the world stage. And Governor Brian Kemp tweeting out heartbreaking news. Hank Aaron was an American icon and a Georgia legend. His career made history and his influence was felt not only in the world of sports, but far beyond. Please join us in praying for his fans and loved ones as we remember the Hammers incredible legacy. I want to bring in our anchor Jeff Hollinger right now. Jeff, uh, you have been covering sports in this town for decades. <laughs> don't, don't say how many years <laughs> for decades. Let me just begin here. Uh, Hank Aaron, his legendary career, we say, spanned from 1954 to 1976 uh, within baseball. But his career began in the Negro Leagues back in 1952, coming into um, the, the major leagues eight years after Jackie Robinson integrated baseball. Uh, so we talk about his storied career in baseball. But, I mean, the years after that and his incredible footprint on the city of Atlanta you know, we, we would we would be here all day, right? If we if we talked about the numerous contributions he made on the field and off the field, just so many to count. It, it is an American life of which we will never ever see again. And trying to categorize Hank Aaron is like trying to get a fastball past him. It, you, you just can't. There, there's so much greatness. There's so many moving parts. There's so much that's astonishing about the narrative of Hank Aaron. You know, I think you have to begin with what he did in baseball. And, and sometimes I always feel like he is overlooked. Is, is that possible that you overlook Hank Aaron? I mean, look at Hank Aaron's numbers. If you have a chance this afternoon uh, and you're not near a television, Google his name on Wikipedia and, and just take in the staggering numbers of which he amassed during his career. A 25-time Major League Baseball All-Star. There he is with Bobby Cox. Uh, Sandy Koufax and Bob Gibson said that trying to get a fastball past him on the inside part of the plate was, was impossible. You couldn't do it. He began in the Negro Leagues with a cross-handed grip, and, and he always said that that, in part, was why his wrists were so strong. You know, when you think about great power players in Major League Baseball, home run hitters, you think about you know, Babe Ruth or Mark McGuire or Sammy Sosa when they were doing all of that, or Barry Bonds. Uh, but truth be told, when you would meet Mr. Aaron, you would be astonished at how diminutive he was. He was a small man to hit 755 home runs. It was astonishing. And, and that is a word that we're going to use over and over and over about him, about his durability as a player, his durability as a cultural icon in the United States. The meaning of his life has had as much of an impact as anyone that I can think of in the 20th century, of what he meant to the American experience in terms of race, in terms of the role that sport played, and a superstar, and his, his play in all of this. Muhammad Ali once said, there's only one man that I admire more than myself, and that's Hank Aaron. And I think we all feel about that today. I think all of us, no matter our age, no matter where we're from in the United States, there's a great sense of loss. If you love this country, if you love sports, if you love baseball, if you love Atlanta, this is the very symbol of all that was good and all that was great in our lifetime and in our world. Yeah. And what he did will stand in perpetuity. The hits keep on coming in 2021 here. What a legend and a beautiful smile and a tremendous man. 
Shortly after news broke of Mr. Aaron's passing, people began making their way to the monument in Fulton County, marking his historic 715th home run. It's right near the former home of the Braves, Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, a section of wall over which his record breaking baseball flew. We spoke to one man. That's about kind of what small and awful, Hank isn't it? I, I, I mean, just seeing that Chiba, I mean, it deserves so much more than that. Maybe, maybe this will change that. That, that spot needs a place of, of greater honor than what we just looked at. All right, let's listen into uh, what this man has to say about what Hammer and Hank meant to him. Jeff, thank you. You know, I think for, for so many who grew up, um, you know, during the time of, of, of Mr. Aaron's life, you know, as, as small kids, boys, uh, you always look for heroes and giants, and there was none larger than, than Mr. Aaron. And, you know, as Atlantans, we don't have a long le legacy or lineage of, of, of winning in sports, but we had the greatest for, for a period of time. And a person who was great, but great with class, and a person who embodied perseverance and resiliency, and the person, a person who carried the weight of an entire people on his shoulders and still managed to achieve and excel, and um, just a remarkable human being, a remarkable man of character. I want to go out to our sports reporter, Alex Glaze, at Truist Park for us this afternoon. Alex, you had mentioned to me a little earlier on when we were speaking off camera that uh, Hank Aaron's loss is just one of a few for the Atlanta Braves. It's been a hard couple of weeks for the for the organization. Yes, yeah, Sheba, it's been a tough month uh, for, for the Braves. Uh, Hank Aaron was so many things to so many people, uh, the most important sports figure in Atlanta sports, the most important figure in, in Atlanta sports, uh, a hero to many because of his fight during the civil rights movement, and a baseball legend considered to be one of the best to, to ever play the game. And you would think that during his time chasing the home run record, that'd be the time of his life, but it actually turns out it, it wasn't. Uh, he was dealing with racism on and off the field, but instead of you letting that racism uh, get to him, he used that as fuel to be better. And I actually talked with him about that back in 2018. It was tough. It, it was, uh, I, had, I had my problems. You faced threats? Oh yeah, many, many, many times, yes. Qu quite a few. That, that was part of why I guess I, I broke his record was the fact that a lot of people thought that it couldn't be done and, and a black person doing it was not something that they wanted to see done. Uh, Hank will certainly certainly be missed, but Sheba, like you said, it has been just a really tough month for the Braves, first losing Phil Necro just a few weeks ago, then Don Sutton just a couple days ago, and then today we wake up to the news of Hank Aaron passing on. It's just, it's just really, it's been a tough month. Alex, a great honor back in 2018 when you interviewed Hank Aaron. Anything you walked away with from that interview that you'll forever remember with that little bit of time you were able to spend with him? Yeah, I only got a couple minutes. Uh, selfishly for me, one of the, the things I'll remember, uh, Hank was a Ravens fan. I, I'm from Baltimore, so, you know, we talked a little bit about the Ravens. That was really cool. But, uh, you know, seriously, though, he was just such a, a really kind and, and humble man that, you know, would speak about baseball, life, whatever you wanted to talk about. And, you know, I, I definitely will remember those those couple of minutes. I actually have a picture up uh, of me and Hank uh, on my picture wall. So it's definitely a moment that I'll remember. Very nice, very nice. Alex, thank you so much. I had the chance to meet Hank Aaron as well back in 2016 at the um, the Mayor's Ball, the United, United Negro College Fund Mayor's Ball, Mayor's Mask Ball. So RIP to a legend now trending on Twitter as hundreds of people share their condolences and the impact of the Hall of Famer. You can share your stories, please do, on our 11 Alive Facebook page. We wanna see them as we remember the legendary Hank Aaron.